All right, after a good nap, let's go fishing. Actually, that nap made me feel worse. I'm gonna set the autopilot to go exactly where it was earlier. Prop clear. Hundred feet is a long way to go. I'm trying to pull fast. The shark is going to get to it, and probably it did already. Big one. Look at that! I told you. I told you the shark was going to get it. Look at it. Shark ate half of it. Man, that was a good snapper too. Look at that. That was a shark or a barracuda. Felt like I was pulling and all of a sudden, boom, something heavy hit it. Yep, you can't compete with a shark. All right, I moved down here. So hopefully I can get some trigger fish to take home. I moved down to the shallows. But this is what I got. Small little yellow grunt. But I want to get some trigger fish so I can take home. The sun is dropping already. And I don't know where to uh, anchor overnight. I don't know if to go back there to that island that I was there earlier or to go back to uh, Obahama Bay. I got a yellow tail. Beautiful yellow tail, but it's too small. All right, the sun is about to go down, so I have to look for that anchorage quick. I'm probably gonna go to the same one because the wind is coming this way. If I go to that K over there, I'm gonna get front winds, and it's not gonna be a beautiful night. And you know how much I hate losing night of sleep. Prop clear. Couple of minutes to get there quick. And what I'm gonna have 
dinner. It's going to be, um, you guessed it, red snapper. I'm gonna cook it differently. at Anchorage yep I'm gonna be away from these boats my next resort was to go back over there but look look how calm this area here is it's very calm it's very nice here it's just a little bit farther here and uh, away from these boats so I can run my generator I can see all the way to the bottom here. There's a couple of fishes right there. Just a couple of bolts here. That's it. I'm gonna take a shower now before it's completely dark. Alright. All right, it's gonna be the perfect size. Alright, I already gutted it so gonna take the scales off this fish was caught about six hours ago it's gonna taste just as fresh all right already cut it in half I'll put some mojo citrus blend oh not in the eye Now that I seasoned the beautiful fish, I'm going to uh, put it back in the cooler and let it marinate in there. All right, we'll put it right here, let it marinate in there. I think one will be enough. Look at this, how beautiful. 
marinated it is. Beautiful. Well, can't complain. I had fish for lunch and dinner, and I'm still taking some for my family. So this is probably about, feels like a pound right here. Getting the fish whole like this is how you get the most meat out of it. Plus, you'd be able to eat the eyeballs if you like. Like myself, I love the eyeballs. And sometimes it has a chic right there. So I don't know if this one does have that. But it's a lot of meat you waste, like this meat here, right there. When you feel like you throw away a lot of meat, especially on the head. All right, now I'm going to put the head, probably gonna start with the head, which is the one that takes longer. I think I'll be able to put both in there. Mm, it's not good. So what I'm going to do is to place clean under it. I'm going to squish one at a time. Hopefully this will work. Well, it worked. Well, it's working pretty good. I always find a way how to make my tostones if I forget the uh, tostone squisher. A lot of my viewers have never eaten this and they went to the store and tried this and they loved it. Beautiful. The stones are ready to be fried after the fish. Look at that. All right. All right, the fly plantains fried looks pretty good. All right, let's see how this looks and tastes. Beautiful. Well, my favorite part is right here. It's the eyeball. Look at all that muscle right there. That's a good part right there. Hmm. Incredible. Tastes different. Way different. Then beer batter. Another of my favorite part right here. Has a lot of favor. Delicious flavor, the meat is very tender. Look what I'm talking about. Meat is very soft. That was a awesome meal. One of those medium sized fish is enough for one person. It's delicious. I'm gonna turn the air conditioner soon. There's no way not there. Today was a really good day. I got eight yellow eye uh, snapper. Delicious fish. I have never caught so many of them. It's the first time that I caught so many. Let me show you what's coming. Look at this. Tomorrow I'm heading out, which is going to be okay. It's not going to be as bad. Right over here. 
today was better but I didn't want to go back home just one day at the Bahamas but look at this Friday 3 in the morning look how bad it starts getting look at that that's that's terrible weather right there look at that look at that that's winds of 30 miles per hour look at the waves 13 foot seas right here where I am right now that is going to be crazy it covers all the Bahamas dry tortugas and also the Gulf that is huge to cross from West Ham to Florida 13 foot of seas that is just crazy look how it surrounds and hugs the whole Bahama waters it's not gonna be good to be here not good to be here at all so I picked the perfect weather to come here but only two days I would love to be here three days but today is better than nothing if I don't come today that means I'm not coming back in a little while because weather is not permitting to be here right now it's 843 A lot of people would rather be out here than in the marina because unless you need water and power if you have a generator if you have a water source why would you need the marina look at this look how nice it looks today since there's no wind Look at that, you can see all the way to the bottom here too. See the sea grass? There's a shark right there next to the uh, grass bed right there. But once I turned the light on, he left. One, it was a nurse shark, liked to sleep in um, corners like that. You can see how shallow it is there. And the boat is pivoting to that side, but it should be okay. It's got to be at least three feet of water there. And it's low tide right now. And before I go tomorrow, I got to check the fuel that I have. to Make sure that I have enough. I have 10 extra gallons that I could use. It says it's half tank, but it's probably a little over than that. So I have to calculate. Okay, it says that I have used 48 gallons. I put 15 when I came here. The guy looked at me kind of weird, like 15 gallons, that's all you're gonna put on your boat. But I calculate all my fuel very good and I have spare fuel. So it says I burned 48 gallons. Um, I should spend tomorrow about 40. So I still have about 54 gallons left on the tank so that should be enough to make it back to Florida um, but I have 10 gallons and fuel left on my canisters so that would be my emergency fuel so I'm okay looks good so I shouldn't have a problem at all with that now before every navigation I looked at all my wiring here also my um, hydraulics there's not leaking at all I checked my pump pump is good no leaks and um, all the wiring looks good there's also no leaks on the hydraulic hoses here everything looks good So I always come here and check this out to make sure there's no leaks on the hydraulics. Everything is working good. And that's it, I stocked the fridge. Uh, so I'm just gonna wake up early in the morning, make some uh, breakfast and um, head out. And the weather should be okay. It's gonna be, the wind is gonna be pushing towards Florida. So it should be fine should be fine I think it's gonna be a lot 
better trip than coming over here seven hours. I'm estimating four and a half hours to get to Florida tomorrow because the wind is going to be pushing me towards Florida. That helps a lot. I'm gonna get some rest now and guys thank you for watching and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up again thanks for watching